Hello, I'm Maria from the Richardson Simple Living. Um, today is, what is it, day five, I think, of my attempt to do a 30-day vlog. Vlogs. <laughs> um, today, what we're going to do, because we've done two days of homeschooling now, I thought we'd take you out into the garden and uh, I thought we'd do something with strawberries because my strawberries, well, for one, I've got a lot that need picking and also I've got a lot of runners coming off them so I'm going to remove them so I thought I'll take you out in the garden so you can see my strawberries what I've got and um, watch me while I chop them I'll show you how I take the runners off so we'll go out there might be a bit of outside noise outside because there's neighbours out and everything so if we hear some unusual noises it's not me <laughs> we'll go out now and have a look Right, I'll pick some strawberries first then. If I can reach without stretching my wire and knocking everything over. Um, we've got quite a lot of red ones on here. And I only picked them yesterday and the day before that. And I've got loads. Absolutely loads. So they're all quite nice. I'm hoping that you can see what I'm doing. Perhaps not so much at this end, but as I get a bit closer. Oh no, I've knocked a good one off. We've got there, it might uh, ripen itself. That's the trouble, you have to be careful because you take the good ones off as well if you're not careful. So close together, some of them. As I was saying, there's absolutely loads on here. And no doubt I'll be picking quite a lot again tomorrow. Oh yes, please. I'm always happy to have a cuppa. <laughs> They're still a bit right on top. They might be done tomorrow. It's that many. I don't know where you've been and where you're going. Right. Where's my bowl? Losing them. So we've filled half a bowl just from one. Let's just check the rest of the plant before we move on to the next one. Some smaller ones. There's been some really nice sized ones on here though, some really good sizes. Alright, let's move along a bit. if I kneel down I think <laughs> move you back a little bit can you see I don't quite know what you're going to see really let's push you around a bit and turn you down and you might be to see lots of strawberries We've done the first one let's see what's on this second one We've done so well for strawberries this year. It's been amazing. It's just a shame that these are a little bit on the tart side. I, mean, I don't mind so much, but Sean won't eat them because they're sour. So we have planted some sweet ones, but obviously because we've only planted them this year, they're not ready yet. I've, there was one on the other day actually. One ready and I thought, well, tempt it and try it. Oh, it was full of ants. It was absolutely full of ants. They'd eaten right through it. So, that would pay to that. So, please, I've got my clematis getting caught up in it as well. Now I'll turn you around a bit more. This is all getting tangled up in it. I keep pushing it back on the fence, but it keeps coming down. That's that one. Thank you. Right, next one. Oh, I should have brought my kneeling pad out here, I think. 
<laughs> I'm not getting up. <laughs> I'm just shuffling along. <laughs> just collecting all of these strawberries. There's absolutely loads today. Loads. Let's see if that's coming across again. This one's not so bad. But we have got a lot of runners, as you can see. So we're going to deal with them in a minute. When we've got the strawberries. Almost already. Shuffle along. That's something new me crawling along on the floor. <laughs> Let's have a look at this one. Look at the size of that one. That is amazing compared to a normal one. We've got loads today. Absolutely loads. Can't fault them, that's for sure. Some over this end. These massive, huge strawberries. Oh, that one's not ready yet. Still, all on one side. So I think we've got all of them. Right. So that's a nice big bowlful. Look at that, I mean, some of them are just huge. Hang on, you. <laughs> Dean's going to cut the vines. Save me crawling down there again, so I'll um, go all over the place today. So we'll go and watch what he's doing. I'll just click me button together. There you go. I think he started without us. I wanted to explain about some of these vines. It chops them off about an inch from the plant but you have to be very careful not to chop the um, vinyl in the strawberries which could be easily done but when it comes to the front now I share what have you chopped off what was that <laughs> or nettle oh they're starting to set in the ground oh dear don't really want them to do that <laughs> See, take them about an inch from the main part. If you was going to plant some, and that's one here, let me show you. If you was thinking of growing on your plants, it's quality is poor today. I'm wrapped up with everything. You see that that's on a vine and that's growing. What you do is get a plant pot, tuck that bit into it pump up with some compost and took that bit in get a hairpin or a hook or something that will hold the plant in place and then leave it but do not detach it from the main plant and then that will grow and after about four weeks when it's taken then you can cut it from the main plant but I was going to save some but we've decided not to because these being the sour ones I want to try and concentrate on the sweeter ones on that one. So you can see what he's doing there, he's taking it about an inch away and just discarding it, being careful not to cut the strawberries off. <laughs> so you just go around all your plants and discard them and you have to do this quite regularly because they do grow quite a lot and quite fast. So, could just detract away from there a minute. I'm going to just take you around to where the sweet ones are. And these are the sweet ones that we're concentrating on keeping. I have taken some of the vines off and it looks like I can see another one appearing. So we've been having to remove the vines off them 
more or less as soon as they grow because the new plants we need the goodness to go back into the plant so by removing the vines that will help the plant and we need to do that for a couple of years then after that I'll leave the vines and probably take some cuttings now for each plant it's best not to take more than five of the runners and use them for um, cuttings for plants probably five is the maximum for each plant unless the plant is near the end of its cycle I think they have about a five year lifespan obviously some go longer but if you're leaving them but on average for healthy good crop of strawberries they go about five years so yeah so um, I say five runners it might be four I'm not sure but certainly only take a few from them so you can keep the goodness back in the plant yeah, so that's those that's what we're doing with them these we're just now cutting the all of the runners off <laughs> yeah we've got the lights <laughs> the lights are attached to the clematis which is getting attached to the back of the strawberries and as you can see like sweet peas are starting to come but they're very slow and late this year some of them are just still spindly bits in the ground so yeah that's the strawberries so that was us cutting the strawberries wasn't very professional there was a bit of a, a hodgepodge but i'm not used to having a camera out there and trying to do things and work the camera and the sun's shining on me i couldn't see what i'm looking at so i'm hoping that you have seen the strawberries because the sun was just glaring but anyway if you could see it that's how we do, do it deal with the strawberries so yeah that's them um tomorrow I might see if i've got something else um a bit homesteady garden wise you know see what else we've got out there we can have a look at while the weather's nice you see because uh, it has given out rain I think weekend end of the weekend and into Monday so I thought well if we can do some bits out there on the nice days that'd be all the better won't it <laughs> so yeah we'll have a look tomorrow I'll tell you what to do want to do though um the flowers on my potatoes have died back although the leaf is all still very green um the flowers have died back and that's normally a sign when you can start picking them so I'm wondering, I might have a poke around and if I think they're ready, I might show you as harvesting potatoes while Dean's at home because it's easier because he can harvest them and I can film it instead of me trying to do it all on my own and face planting you with my camera <laughs> because it fell over. <laughs> a couple of times it fell over. So... Um, and then of course because i've not got a wireless um microphone it's pulling the wire all the time and you're seeing the wire so i might get a bit professional and see about getting a wireless microphone <laughs> we shall see we shall see <laughs> but yeah that's it for today anyway i just sort of take you out and show you the strawberries how we chop them off what how we deal with them and you know give you a run through what we would do if we were saving them it's a shame really when you cut them off and you see the nice plant that's on them you think oh it's a good plant that is i could just start it off you know set it but the thing is because they're sour i'd rather concentrate on the sweeter ones we've bought and build them up and, and eventually the sour ones will go back and be done with so but we're getting a really good crop as you could see we're getting a really good crop so yeah i'm going to have my cup of tea now that my uh, husband has made me <laughs> and i shall catch up with you again tomorrow so thank you for watching oh and i want to say thank you for my new subscribers as well thank you for subscribing tea plant funny then subscribing it does mean a lot to us and so thank you ever so much and i hope you stick with us and watch our journey it won't always be so chaotic i will get a bit more professional eventually pretty sure i will one day <laughs> but anyway take care for now and i'll see you tomorrow bye everybody